Hi. Uh, some time back, if you remember that we spoke about Microsoft Teams meeting recordings and various operations that we can do it on the recorded file, like for example, trimming, sharing, and so forth. Today, in this video, we're going to focus on the same Teams meeting recording, but Microsoft is bringing in some new changes, better changes to the um, whole process that now you can record the Teams meeting, but the recorded file will be saved either in OneDrive or in SharePoint Online. Depends on the type of meeting that you are conducting. Like for example, you are sending a meeting request and then uh, conducting that meeting and you are recording, recording it, that file will be saved under OneDrive, your personal OneDrive for business. And if you are conducting a meeting within a channel of a team, then those meetings are saved under the channel SharePoint site. We will see in this video um, what you can expect after this change, which is expected to be rolled out to all tenant by March 2021. I just want to emphasize that uh, time again that Microsoft will not allow you to store Teams meeting recorded file into Microsoft Stream Classic after March 2021. I can assure you that this change will bring in a lot of flexibility in terms of managing the recorded file when it is saved under OneDrive or SharePoint uh, like we manage any other file in OneDrive or SharePoint. So as I have mentioned, let us consider that there are two, two types of or let us understand that there are two types of meetings that happens in Microsoft Teams. One, a scheduled meeting or a one-to-one -one meeting or a meet now that we start from the calendar pain of the teams and the second one we join to the meetings which is happening inside a teams channel so anything which is recorded or any meetings which are getting recorded outside the teams channel will be saved under onedrive for business and any any meetings or any meeting recordings which we do within a channel of a team will be saved under the same channel sharepoint site I have just created a meeting request, just a normal meeting request and uh, we will try record it and see where is it getting saved. Now we have just finished the recording of a meeting and uh, let us see where is it getting saved. Please note that we have recorded a meeting which happened outside a Teams channel. Basically a normal meeting, not a channel meeting. So as it is not a channel meeting, the meeting recordings will be available under the chat window of, a sp of that specific meeting subject. It is clearly saying that the recording is saving to OneDrive. So if you want to play the video, just click on the video and it will start playing directly from the OneDrive. Alternately, if you're synchronizing your OneDrive to your PC, then you can navigate to recordings folder under your OneDrive for business to see all the personal meeting recordings that you have conducted over the past. So the recent test meeting recording is still not synchronized. So let us wait for a while and see if that is coming up. It should come up in a while. Yeah, now you can see that the test meeting recording is now available inside your OneDrive for business and you can do sharing, you can do modifying, editing with any software as, as if like you're working on a file that is part of your OneDrive. Now let us switch to the channel of a team. Now you you can see that I have couple of teams there, cloud 
cloudgear.org and the Praveen space. I'm going to add a channel to cloudgear.org team and we will create a meeting inside the new channel that I am going to create now. Channel creation is almost complete and let us now start a meeting within a channel of a team. And uh, let's quickly record the meeting and see where is it getting saved. Now if you go back to the team and the channel you can see that the recording is getting saved and it will also say that it is saving under one drive but this time this will be saved under the SharePoint site of the team's channel. Like the earlier cases we can directly play the video from here or what are the other options to interact with this file. Let us see that very quickly. Once the team's recordings are saved, you can go back to the channel, file tab and you will find a new folder named recordings as we have seen it in our OneDrive. You can interact with such files as if you are interacting with any other file within a team's channel. This is now very organized. If you are conducting a meeting within a Teams channel, it is available under the same channel. And if you are conducting anything outside the Teams of Microsoft team, that will be saved under your OneDrive for Business. And when I say it will be saved under your OneDrive for Business, it is not about who is the organizer of the meeting, but it is about who is recording the video. So the personal or the scheduled meeting recordings will be saved under the person who is recording the meeting, not the person who is organizing the meeting. What if you still see that your recordings are saved under stream and you want to migrate that into OneDrive as I have shown in the video, then in that case you can contact your IT department who is managing the team's application for you and they have to make some changes as mentioned in this article and it is also mentioning about the timelines of these changes. So by March it will be available for all team users across the globe but if you want it to be activated earlier you can contact your admin. You can take the link of this article from the description box, box of this video and share it with your respective team. It is also worth understanding the kind of permissions for this recorded file after the team's meeting is recorded. So for example, if it is a one to one call and the caller is recording the meeting, where is it getting landed? It is landing at caller's one drive for business and the caller is the owner, owner has the full rights and the callee will have the read this is for the internal parties similarly if the coli is recording coli will be the owner of the file and the caller will have the read access and similarly if you go for an external meeting so if you are actually calling an external party and you are recording then you are the owner but the coli has no access but you can share it if that is permitted by the organization and if the external party is recording it, then it will be saved under the external party's OneDrive for business. You will not have access. You can request access and the colleague must give you access in order for you to access it. What if it is a group call? You have to work out the similar way. Member who clicked the recording will have full access. Other member in the same tenant or the organization will have the read and the people who join from outside will not have an access unless you manually share it with them. And the final one is the channel meeting and any one of the channel member who recorded the video 
and the permission goes along with the channel permission for all the channel members so no matter who recorded but the permissions are inherited based on the channel permission for its members i assume that you've enjoyed uh, the uh, quick overview on the changes that microsoft is going to bring in on microsoft teams meetings recordings and if you are a teams admin do create multiple policies and do the transition in phased manner so that your journey towards the new change in teams will be much easier thank you for watching if you like the video do not forget to subscribe the channel hit share button like it and do share your experience as a comment that can help others as well i will be back with another video very soon till then bye